Um, there are a few things you should carefully pick in Linux, like your game engine, your CLI text editor, your VR avatar. Things like these is a little bit hard to change later. Well, the terminal isn't one of those. In fact, you can switch your default terminal 18 times a day, and you hardly can tell the difference. But nevertheless, you have to pick a terminal, and that's about I'm gonna try to help you with. Of course, since we are using GNOME, we'll only keep bothered with terminals made specifically for the GNOME desktop. So on this movie, you ain't gonna see Alacrity, or WESTERM, or Contour, or anything such. With perhaps a small exception, I'm going to add NVIDIA. Um, actually, let me tell you what you're gonna watch already. No need for drama here. So it's GNOME Terminal, Black Box Prompt and Console, all using Edwida and VTE. And I'm starting with Black Box that once was my default. This is the only terminal from the list that isn't been developed from some core GNOME contributor. And it's easy the prettiest terminal of all. Most specifically that feature that hides the header bar makes it super cute, but also the tabs on the top save space and they're also looking great. And yet, for some reason Edwaita still denies to officially support that design. So we might get a few inconsistencies here and there. On the bad side, Blackbox doesn't support profiles, can't do split terminals, but the worst of everything is that it has performance issues with RAM climbing to 2 gigs? Um, been written in Vala, and not having very active development doesn't help much to solve the issue, so I had to drop it. Can't remember when and why, but it was certainly a time I used console as my default terminal, but not for long I must say. Essentially this terminal was developed because the official GNOME terminal was slow on following the newest design language. Plus console is very mobile friendly, so that's the terminal to go if you run GNOME on phones. However, the development is literary dead already on contributions, definitely is not feature complete for desktop, and personally I believe it has none business to be the default on GNOME OS. And suddenly, Christian decided to take action, he ported GNOME Terminal to Adwaita, he rewrote the profile settings, and in the way he improved the performance on VTE2, which obviously it benefits all four terminals. But is it enough to give it a second chance? Well, if you're using it on GNOME 45, and you are happy with it, it's gonna be a huge upgrade when you switch to GNOME 46. But there is something inside me telling me that the project will fall again in sleep mode, so I wouldn't be exactly excited for its future, and I will keep staying away, until, and if Terminal gets a new maintainer with more love for the project. So, after Christian contributed big on GNOME Terminal port to Adwaita, he decided to create a brand new terminal that is very similar to GNOME Terminal, but it does everything better. Okay, someone might say this is a terminal for containers, but this is just a false statement. Yep! Prompt will automatically discover the running containers, and we can easily assign profiles to them, but we can do all the rest too. It has a better search, a tabs overview which is so cool and also useful, we can pin tabs, and we can also theme the full app window and even easily customize the colors. Had done a video on that by the way. So Prompt is the terminal of my choice, at the moment at least. Therefore my recommendation for you. And as a bonus, it comes as a flat pack, so it is extra easy to try. Um, only there is a big problem with Prompt Terminal, and that's basically its name. You see, when you call something today Prompt, you most obviously mean an AI prompt. Mmm, excuse me very much, but anything such will come to Linux, and I won't care too much for a GTK Terminal anymore. And because I'm completely sure there is always someone out there writing the next GTK Terminal in Rust, I have a small tip to give them. Don't do it, unless you aiming for complete awesomeness. Pretty please. We don't need yet another GTK skin for VTE. We need code editor like completions powered by AI. And that's only the very motherfucking minimum.